Did you know that most people actually fail their New Year's resolution by week three? That's why I didn't even record this video until now. I wanna talk about the top developer content to prepare you for 2022. I know a lot of people have New Year's resolutions related to upskilling in RPA, learning a new tool. Maybe you're totally new to RPA and you wanna get started. In this video, I wanna highlight the top developer content to get you ready for the rest of 2022 so that even though you bombed out that one New Year's resolution, you're still good to go with another one. So let's get right into it. Number five, and this was based on the popularity of these videos from our YouTube channel from 2021. And so we wanna highlight some of the top content that's gonna get you ready for 2022. Number five was a step-by-step -step guide to building a bot for essential tasks. If you haven't built many bots in Automation 360, this is a great one to get started with. It goes through the process of teaching you exactly how to build a bot to download a CSV, read data from that CSV, enter it into a web form, and submit. So you're learning some of the core fundamental skills that can help you in your RPA journey. The next top video was Introduction to the Control Room API. And this is probably for more advanced developers, but if you're used to using RPA and you want to maybe invoke your bots from a new way or from a new perspective, uh, you can do that from the Control Room API. This Control Room API video goes through introducing a Postman collection that has many of the endpoints for the Automation 360 Control Room that you can play around with, you can invoke, you can do different things, whether that's uh, downloading a bot from the Control Room, uploading a bot, uh, doing something with user permissions, adding a new user. It even enables you to invoke a bot run. Building your first Automation 360 bot comes in at number three, and this is a perfect place to get started if you're brand new to RPA, even if you're not someone who has a ton of development experience. This is the place to get started. We introduce the Automation 360 interface. We go through the process of building your very first bot that does a very simple launch a browser and log into a web interface, right? So you're learning those very fundamental skills. They're gonna help you as you prepare to make more advanced bots to automate your needs. Number two is back to the automation control room. This was a very popular uh, topic for 2021, which was to invoke a bot using the control room API. Now in this tutorial, you will have to have a dedicated bot runner so that you can actually have that bot execute. So you won't be able to do this one in community edition, but this is great for people who are starting to explore new ways to invoke their bots, either from custom interfaces that they've built, or maybe invoking a bot from a workflow application that you already have within your organization. I've even heard of people building their own web front ends to kind of have a listing or a menu of all of their bots and invoke those directly from that custom web interface so they can kick off their bots on a specific bot runner using a specific account, whatever it might be. Uh, it's a cool front end for them to be able to enable others to invoke bot runs. The number one most popular video from 2021 that'll help you prepare for 2022 is an RPA use case on mortgage processing using ARI. In this tutorial, we go through the full process of building out an ARI process. And if you're not familiar with it, ARI is Automation Anywhere's robotic interface. And so it's the human bot collaboration capability that you can build within your processes. So we go through the process of building out some RE forms. We go through the process of having some bots that are imported that we'll be using. And then we also go through the process of building a process. And if you're not familiar with that, you build a process in Automation 360 that enables you to tie together your forms plus your bots. Now, I wanna mention two other top videos I think you should check out to prepare for 2022. These are the honorable mentions. These are Micah's favorites. Uh, I'll say that when you're creating a lot of content, some stuff gets uh, a lot of attention, some stuff doesn't. These are the things that didn't make the top list but I think are worth checking out to prepare you for 2022. The first is building your first Automation 360 package. This is from a live stream that we did where I walked through the process of showing you how to use the Automation 360 SDK to build your own custom package. If you're not familiar with it, 
Custom packages enable you to create your own tool sets that can be added to the left-hand column of the developer interface. It enables you to create your own custom packages, and those could do whatever you want. It could interface with a custom service that maybe exists at your organization. It could extend the functionality of Automation 360 to interface with another application that's not already covered. Um, the possibilities are literally endless here. You can do whatever you want. So we go through the process of building that first package, showing you how it works. I don't want you to be intimidated by the fact that this is in Java. We go very slow. I show you the entire process. There's even a supplementary video that talks about machine setup and getting your IDE installed and everything like that. So definitely check that one out. And number one, what is hyper automation? Building self-improving bots. You know, one of my predictions for 2022 is that we're gonna see a lot more intelligent automation or hyper automation going on. And in this video, we go through the process of talking about how a bot can actually get smarter from human input. So this is a bot that's using a custom package that's leveraging a machine learning model. And it also is a process that includes Ari. And as these applications for loans come in, the bot with the custom package and the machine learning model tries to evaluate is this a loan that we should be approving or not? If it's not sure, if the loan doesn't hit that confidence threshold, it's sending that loan out to an operator and that operator is gonna be using the RE interface. That operator makes a decision about the loan, right? Hey, it's approved, hey, it's denied, whatever it is. We take the data from the decision that that operator made and we use that to retrain our machine learning model so that the next time a similar loan comes through, the bot's able to automatically handle that on its own. It can automatically make that decision as the bot has more and more data to work off of, right? More and more corrections from the human user. We should see more and more tasks that the bot can fully automate based on its expanded machine learning model and fewer tasks that are going to the operator for manual review. So definitely check those videos out. We're gonna have the links to all of them below. I would encourage you to check those out no matter where you are on your RPA journey. There's something here that can help you improve your skills for 2022. I'm Micah Smith. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more RPA and Automation Anywhere content. Go be great.